Okay. We're almost there. This is the um, taper slide. It is a uh, kind of a double dovetail. There's dovetails down here for the taper. And then there's dovetail up here for the cross slide. So, I want to um, position this about flush up here. So, I'm going to uh, adjust the Gibbs screw to give me that favor. And I'm going to lock this thing down. It's not going to move. Okay, we're going to install the new nut. I guess you guys can probably... Oh. There we go. So here's the new nut. This is the original and the old nut original and the old nut being the same thing so let's get that set aside get that oil off my hands now there's a retaining screw here which screws in here and holds the nut in this area so let me uh let me spray this area out. Alright. Um, so, I'm going to uh, grab this with an Allen wrench. You see, that's um, 5 8 16, I think. Either 5 8 16 or 5 8 18. I have the tap because I made the nut. Okay, I, I have it. No, I don't either. the right that's the right screw let me clean these threads a little bit the through hole in here to um, provide oil so what's more trouble getting this started. I got it now. Find the screwdriver.
Okay, that is installed. Let me, let me show you that. <coughs> okay, I obviously got all excited about installing that and kind of got ahead of myself. But the nut is installed and the screw is... Well, let's go ahead and get this uh, gib screw here in. Actually, I'm going to uh, and pull that lead screw out. I'll never do it going that direction because I still have keys to put in for the keyways and. Glad we got the uh, we're, we're in process That's, anyway. Okay, I got the gib screw installed and the gib installed and uh, we'll adjust that once everything's all together a little further. Let's see how my, uh, my exporting is going. It usually uh, fails around 94, anything above 90%. So. I went into computer files and deleted some temporary files or something. I don't know. I, there, I shouldn't have had to do anything because I'm not using, I'm using very little of the resources of that computer. Yet this thing tells me that, yeah, I may be out of RAM or so you can ram this how's that so let's get the crank and the screw and the keyways the keys to go into keyways I see them now there's one Three. Okay, so we're going to pull this nut off. And I have a one inch keyway here. And I'm going to. Is there a keyway already? A key already in this one? There's three. Do I have one in here? Okay. I have one in the old. I have one of them in the old. Uh, the old lead screw. So there's one keyway. One key. 
half inch, there's two. So there's my one inch key. This is my gear. One side is keyed, the other side is not. The other side is not. Let's just stay with that. Okay, let's go ahead and tap this on. Where are we going to do this at? Okay. I put a, uh, a copper nut up here and it's gonna give me something to strike. Just about on there. Okay, I think that changed. The sound changed. So. That's right. Okay, now I have one more key that goes here. here on the very end so let me uh, let me dig that one out of the old the old screw Okay, let me try that one here and see if it'll fit a little tighter. Let's see how this one fits here. Okay. See if this one turns over. Okay, I'm gonna get a little tacky grease and put on this to uh, keep those keys in in place. So here's the. Uh, This is where the second key goes in, here, and then the third one is going to be on the hand crank. So let's take that third one out for now. Okay, there's that spring, and this Gonna go on here. Huh. Why didn't 
that spring doing anything? What is it going to engage on? Huh. Need to look into that. Okay, next is going to be our, uh, our crank. I need to try a different key there. See if uh, these other keys might be a little more worn.
Okay. Okay, that's fitting a lot better. Okay. We follow up with our nut. I knew this was going to be a little short, but that's all right as long as I can engage. I have a impact socket I can put on that. Let's just go ahead and feed this thing in. Pull these four screws out. There's one, two, three. There's four, but I only have three in hand. Let's see if I can find that one on the floor. We'll come back to that. Speed our screw in. Find our half nut. This is soon going to engage with my crossfeed gear. It has. <laughs> no movement at all there. <laughs> so I'm still missing one cap head screw. If three won't hold it, four never would have. That's awful awkward. Let me find the wrench. installed new leads crossfeed lead screw and nut okay there is the new and I don't know if you guys saw the other video where I could take this and just bang it Okay, we need to tighten up my uh, <clears throat> need to tighten up my nut back here on the end of the screw. Okay, that's it. We get the compound back on and um, we're ready to make chips. Uh, last 
two videos, three videos, kind of, uh, eh, I don't know. Weren't my best, but the work got done, and the mighty Pratt and Whitney is back at it. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Tell a buddy, bring a friend. So let's give a little power to Yeah.